we have some catalysts among us. We have a saying in the organization that people celebrate the breakthrough, but what really gets honored is the path. You've heard the saying before, the NBA is a game of runs. One team will build a lead, the other team will come back. But this Thunder team, they're really good at it. And they do it in uncommon ways. So, three questions. Why are they so good at it? How do they do it? And why does it maybe matter a lot down the line? Let's start here. It's the last week of October, the Thunder are playing the Lakers and fall behind double digits early. It has the look of a game that is going to get too far out of reach with the deficit swelling to as much as 26. And you might remember what happened in this game. SGA went supernova in the third quarter, and the Thunder actually led going into the fourth. Back, even a little surprise from him. Our first win of the season at home against the Lakers. We hadn't won yet. It might have been like our fourth game of the year. 72-56, our halftime score. I just remember guys being fired up and ready to get back out there at halftime, and I kind of had the feeling that, that we were going to go on a run in the third quarter. Obviously, we went on a huge run and took the lead, but I had a good feeling going to, into the third quarter of that game. The comeback might seem to have kick-started when Shea got hot, but look inside what sparked it. What was the origin of that third quarter? It was actually a simple play, a seemingly invisible one, with 4.43 left in the second quarter and OKC down 24. After a Laker bucket, Isaiah Roby sprinted the length of the floor, outrunning Dwight Howard. It resulted in Roby flashing wide open in the paint, and as we know, if you run, Josh Giddy will find you. Roby drew a foul and knocked down two free throws. But they've done a great job methodically working their way back. So, I mean, it's something that's, that's preached from day one in training camp, so it's, it's kind of instilled into you. Whenever it's instilled in you, you really don't go out and think about it, you just kind of go out and just do it. Roby's play is a perfect example of the Thunder comeback mindset make one good play, whatever it is. A good screen, a good pass, a good closeout. Just start with making one good one. That becomes two, becomes three, becomes momentum. Are you watching the time tick away on you or are you just thinking, I've just got to focus on the next play? Yeah, just really focus on the, on the next play. I mean, we to come back, we always got to do it play by play, you know, position by position. The Thunder are at the top of the league in double digit comeback wins this season. And even in other games where they didn't get all the way back, they still closed to make it a one or two possession game. Like the game January 24th against Chicago. OKC trailed by 26 late in the third quarter, but had a shot to tie it with two seconds left and only lost by one. But OKC never relented, battling all the way back. Of course you don't want to be uh, start, start the game slow and you don't want to kind of dig yourself in the hole. You know, throughout the whole year, I've never been worried about if we were down big, us not being able to win the game. You might assume there's some big halftime speech by the coaching staff or a timeout where someone inspires the group with words of wisdom, but it's really not that. Mark Dagnall has given what could be classified as maybe three halftime speeches all season. It's really more of an ongoing dialogue, reinforcing the bullet points that have been on the menu since training camp. One of the things that we emphasize a lot is, is a 48 minute game, so I feel like we never give up. We just play until the end. I mean, we've, we've done a you know a pretty good job, you know, coming back from games. But sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. But at the same time, you know, we're just competing until the end. And that's what it is with Luke Dorn. He's on the floor first, man. He's gonna make something happen. Here's the thing, though. A lot of these Thunder comebacks, most of them really, weren't some bombastic momentum swing with a roaring 14-0 run. They worked the problem solving it possession by possession, closing with a 6-0 run here, an 8-2 stretch there, using the length of the game and the math and efficiency to bring them back closer. And what a battle for the Thunder to climb up that hill. I just think when we, when we get down like that, we try not to play like, like hero ball, I guess you would say. We try to go back to our identity. When we do certain things, we know we're at our best. And then we just try to take it possession by possession. And a lot of times it's, it's not the 14-0 run, but we chip away slowly at it and we get, we get where we need to be ultimately. Under rallying as a unit from 18 back to nine. Of course, there's the obvious. Like Kenrich said, it would probably be better not to get in a comeback situation at all. But this is the NBA and it happens. And the 48-minute mindset is one that can endure and be a building block itself, whether you're playing from behind or ahead. Keep playing. Be where your feet are and just make one good play.